What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today as you can probably tell I'm working on a Berserk piece. I was very sad to learn that the author Kentaro Miura passed away on May 6th of this year. I've been a fan of Berserk for the last couple of years and it sucks that he's gone. For those who don't know, he was born in Chiba, Japan in July 1966. He wrote his first manga at the age of 10 for his school publication which lasted for 40 volumes. When he was 18, he worked as a, the assistant to the creator of Hajime no Ibo, George Morikawa. He later dismissed him as he felt that there was nothing he could teach him that he didn't already know. In 1988, while he was working on a project with fellow manga artist Uronsen, he released a prototype for Berserk. Then in 1989, Berserk got serialized in Hakusensha's monthly Animal House. I first got into Berserk in high school when a friend of mine whom I later dubbed Weebus for all the anime he recommended to me suggested we watch it after school. I first watched the Golden Age arc movies and I was hooked. The dark fantasy element was super appealing to me. I loved the character development of the main character Guts. He went from a young man who was angry after dealing with sexual abuse and physical abuse from his father to a dependable and strong warrior. The art is godly in my opinion and I feel like the great art adds to the overall experience of reading Berserk style changed over the years it was drawn and you can see the massive improvement in it. Griffith and Casca are both interesting characters as well. The dynamic between them and Guts is interesting. I like how Griffith is poised and understands how to conduct himself in whatever circle he's in. That's how he is able to assemble a large band of brutish mercenaries but also hold his own when interacting with nobility. I appreciate that Casca wasn't just in the story to add a love interest element but was also a good warrior in her own right. Who Griffith could depend on. She was really hard and aggressive towards Guts initially but the development of their romance was nice to see. Not to address the elephant in the room, the sacrifice, which leads to the question, did Griffith do anything wrong? I believe yes and no. Griffith had the king's egg which could allow him to become an apostle or a demon but a special one who'd be part of the god hand. To become said apostle one must sacrifice something most dear to them. Griffith decided to sacrifice his entire band of mercenaries including Guts who was his closest friend after which he decided to violate Casca, Guts' girl, in front of him. What preceded this was Griffith sleeping with the princess of the land. He helped guard because he was so distraught after Guts left the Banner of the Hawk. This led to him being tortured for a year, leaving him emaciated, unable to walk or hold a sword. He had his tongue and genitals removed, and what remained was a shell of the once ambitious and successful young man. With that said, one may think that it is entirely Griffith's fault, and to be honest, it totally is. It was also very hypocritical of him to consider Guts a friend and not want him to pursue his own dream and walk his own path, if that is his criteria to consider you a friend. But on the other hand, I feel some sympathy for him. One mistake made his ambitions come crashing down. Everything that he worked for had been taken away from him and he was destined to live a helplessly dark life. The God Hand threw the Bailet gave him a chance to reclaim everything he lost and get a second chance. It's hard to believe that if anyone was given a choice, they choose to remain the way Griffith was. All in all, Berserk is amazing in my opinion, the art is epic, the characters are deep, and the narrative of the story is well thought out and interesting. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video.